VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. And this one is something which I don't know if you you'd use it or not, but I think I'd use it quite a lot. Uh, the Excel viewer. So inside of VS Code, um, you can now look at your v CSV files or whatever in Excel spreadsheets, basically in Visual Studio. So um, I don't think the Excel spreadsheet stuff would be as cool. Um, you know, you could open open the files straight in there, but a lot of times I'm messing with um, CSVs, and it'd like be nice to be able to sort of see that. Um, populate it because a lot of times I pull data in and just want to be able to grab stuff out and it's easier than trying to format it or whatnot. So, uh, right. but it's a pretty cool little little tool in there. Um, it does have some numeric uh, numeric formatting options for you and everything, but it seems like it's pretty complete for a little little simple little VS Code plugin. But yeah, just I was thinking it might be kind of nice for when you're trying to generate a CSV and you want to make sure it's actually doing what you think it should. You know. <laughs> so, but, yep. yeah. And even just to have it a tab inside of the editor instead of in a different window. So, yeah. So, Excel viewer over there. Um, yeah. Nice little VS Code hint, tip, and trick. There we go. Yep. And he says uh, he got to build a client for the work. So, it's even better when you can open source client work. <laughs> Scott for his uh, JSON diff. That was our VS Code Hint, Tip, and Trick of the Week, brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizerdie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.